You see 100k stubs and you're wondering what exactly are we doing today, we're spending 100k stubs on headliner packs in order to try and pull either Christian Yelich, Mookie Betts or Max Scherzer, the 3 live series diamonds that we have yet to pull in this game. This is an ongoing series, we got a playlist on the channel, so if this interests you make sure you guys hit that like button, red subscribe button and also go check out episode number 1, the playlist is titled Pack Summer. let's buy these packs and let's get into it. Now before we go ahead and buy all these packs, I forgot to plug in my social medias, so make sure you follow me at BladeMiss on all social medias. Last episode, I believe we got 7 diamonds, which was one above what we were supposed to get when we look at the odds. So this time around, we're looking to get minimum of 5 diamonds, because that is what would make most sense. Headliners, they say that they are 1 in 10 odds, we buy 60 packs in total, so we should be getting around six diamonds every single 100k stubs worth of headliners we buy now of course you can make all your stubs back all you need is that one lucky diamond or you could lose all your stubs but that is a lot harder to do than it is not to do so last 5k let's go ahead and open up these packs we got let's see if we got every single set before we jump into this so it seems like we do usually we do have every single set but occasionally there is that rare round of headliners that we miss so let's start off with set number one i'm looking for blues all around we start off with the goat i almost went ahead and tried to sell these players instantly because of headliners headliners man it's just getting spicier and spicier that's all i have to say about that so set three not sure who's in here but does it really matter when you end up seeing blue that's one so we got one out of six 1,423 strikeouts. I feel like I've seen this card before. Corey Kluber, that's what I'm going with. And we're going to be one for one when it comes to guessing diamonds. So we got one out of the six diamonds. We got one for one when it comes to guessing diamonds. And I'm going to try to give you guys a prediction before the stadium pops up because I believe I can do it. It's just going to be difficult at times because sometimes I'm a little slow when it comes to going ahead and remembering how many home runs certain diamonds have. So Andre Dawson and Eddie Murray, those were the two headliners there. Here we have Fernando Tatis Jr. or Eloy Jimenez. Now, if we get a blue here, I have to 100% wait on the stadium because if it's one of the two headliners, it will always appear zero, zero, zero. Now, Bill Mazeroski, I haven't seen him in a long time, but I'd rather see Jake Arrieta than him, to be honest, because Jake Arrieta is a lot rarer, and I believe he sells for a lot more. So we start off with 1,208 strikeouts. I'm going to go ahead and say Jake Arrieta. So can we go two for two? I literally just called for him. If we do end up getting him, that means that not only are we two for six right now, but we're two for two when it comes to predicting the diamonds. And he sells for a lot. This isn't going to be a duplicate. So we're looking good. We're looking great, actually. So 93 overall hardware, Jake Arrieta was probably one of the best cards in MLB The Show 18. And even though you guys see that sell now at 7.777k, his buy now is a lot higher. Trust me, I think it differentiates by like 6k. So here we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. or Adam Dunn. Of course, here I'd want Adam Dunn. I believe he sells for a lot more and is a lot more rare than Vladimir Guerrero Jr., to be honest with you all. So instead of getting ourselves another one, we actually don't pull anything. I need to do a better job of looking at what the headliners are because if I can look and see what the headliners are, that allows me to in a way cheat at the same time. So I believe this is three out of six in terms of diamonds or two for two in terms of prediction. It's either 175 home runs. I've seen that before, but I just can't remember who it is. Is it going to be Adam Jones? No, it's Manny Machado. So we're going to go with Manny Machado here. I had to wait till I saw the stadium just because 175 wasn't registering for me. So we're going to be 3 for 3 in terms of predictions. And we've gotten 3 out of 6 diamonds. So that's great. We're pulling blues nonstop, which is phenomenal because that means that the odds, they can either A, get better, or B, just go in line to what they're supposed to be. So... Next pack, we get nothing at all. We got Wade Boggs or Zach Granke. Now, I've never seen this Zach Granke card, so if we get a blue, I'm hoping that it's him, to say the least. So, two more packs here. Nothing but a silver. That's fine with me. Let's get a blue, baby. That's all I asked for. All right. 
that's cool. You know, you can't complain too much. I want the Thelma chances at a set eight, one hundred percent of the way. So we got three out of six diamonds. Just need to pull three more. But in all honesty, all we need to do is pull two more. Since in the previous episode we got seven out of six, so we're plus one right now. So nothing there either. Still three out of six. Usually when you see five packs, you expect to see a diamond. But unfortunately, the odds just weren't in our favor. So Brian McCann or Ennis Slaughter. I would have known if it was Ennis Slaughter instantly because he comes out with stolen bases instead of hits or instead of home runs. And Larry Doby or Dustin Pedroia. To me, I don't know what it is about these Boston Red Sox players, but I believe they're the only ones that catch me off guard with the home run totals. I'd be thinking it's Dustin Pedroia and it turns out to be Wade Boggs. And then when I think Boggs, 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 it turns out to be Sander Bogarts, etc. So here, Dennis Eckersley or Lou Brock, give me Dennis Eckersley as blue, please. That's all I ask for. Dennis Eckersley is probably the most expensive headliners. And then following him is probably going to be Raleigh Fingers or Jose Reyes or even that Buster Posey. Those are probably the three most expensive headliners there are. And it seems like the luck has cooled down a bit, as you guys can see. We're not getting any blues at all, especially out of this set 12. This set 12, it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing to see some blue. But instead, we're going on to set 13. So Justin Upton or Jim Palmer, still no blue there. So we started off hot. It looks like we're cooling down. Corey Kluber or Monte Irvin. Of course, you want to see this Corey Kluber. Since we don't have him yet for the inventory collections, we do have Monte Irvin. So not exactly who I want to see. 99 home runs. I believe this is going to be Lindor. So I'm going to go with Lindor for this prediction right here. And we're going to the Giants. So this is actually going to be Monte Irvin. We're 4 for 5 or 4 out of 5 in terms of the diamonds. We're 3 for 4 in terms of predictions. But hey, I'm happy getting myself a headliners. I'm not sure if he sells for anything at all since, you know, oh, actually his price seems a little inflated. So that's not too bad. But I never see Dennis Eckersley. I don't know what it is about set 14 but Dennis Eckersley his chances of actually coming out must be extremely slim now I don't want you guys to go ahead well that was Roy Oswald or Monte Irvin but I don't want you guys to go ahead and tell me in the comment section well to be honest with you chief I went ahead and pulled seven Dennis Eckersley last night because I'm gonna say you guys are BSing 100% of the way we got set 16 it's either Starjo or Benito Santiago all we need to do is see one more blue and headliners will stay true to being a 1 out of 10 diamond rarity. I was looking for the word, but I just couldn't find it. Or you could say odds. I'd say I say, say odds is definitely the better word to use there. Set 18, Paul Goldschmidt or Ken Griffey Sr. Who can we get here? Charlie Blackman, apparently. So, not looking great. Was hoping to see some blue. Still don't see some blue. Freddie Jenkins or Nelson Cruz? I don't think I've ever seen that Nelson Cruz. Like, I'm positive I don't even have the card, but in terms of seeing him in any pack opening video, not even including mine, I don't think I've ever seen him, to be honest. So if you guys have that Nelson Cruz and you guys put him out of a headliners, please let me know down in the comment section. And this is going to make 5 out of 5. And uh, I'm going to go with Nelson Cruz for my prediction. I could be completely wrong, but that's what I'm going with here. And look at that. We were literally talking about him. We went ahead and pulled him. We're 4 for 5 when it comes to predicting the diamonds, which means that we're currently hitting 800. Now, look how perfect things are sometimes. You guys are most likely going to see new. Now, I could have purchased him when going for Honus Wagner, but I don't remember. So that's why I'm saying you guys are most likely going to see new. And as you guys can see, you see new because I've never had that card previously. But I'm happy to, you know, finally see it for once in my life. Now, if we can get doubles, that would have been amazing. So we got five out of five. The odds are true. You do get out of every 10 packs of diamond so far. Let's see how many packs we have left. We have six, seven, nine. So not too many left. It would be nice to get an extra one just to make it six out of 60. But getting in total 12 out of the last 120 definitely makes sense and definitely keeps the odds that 
they basically advertise for these cards. Who do we have here? Cano or Gonzalez? You know, I, I, I haven't seen him in a while. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We see blue. It's a pitcher, although. I think this 1,423 strikeouts. I don't know. I felt like that was Steven Strasburg. Well, we just seen Corey Kluber, and it literally is Corey Kluber again. So we got six out of five diamonds, which means we got plus one for the next episode. And at the same time, we're now four for six when it comes to predicting these live series diamonds. I don't understand how I can so easily forget the strikeouts for Corey Kluber or forget his numbers, especially when I seen him instantly a little bit earlier in the episode. And I was able to guess instantly that it was him. Please let me see Buster one more time. I've seen him once, but unfortunately, I sold him. Well, I, I don't want to say unfortunately. I felt like I had to sell him at the time. He was going for around 60k stubs. So I was like, there's no way I'm not selling Buster Posey. And headliners were a little bit more expensive, so his price was a little inflated, of course. Either John Luster or Harmon Killebrew. We get ourselves a gold. Now, I have not seen a diamond out of one of these packs in a long time. Or I haven't seen blue out of one of these packs in a long time. So it's either Jose Reyes or Raleigh Fingers. Those are the only two blues I want to see ever come out of set 25. Unless, of course, it's going to be one of the three live series diamonds that we haven't pulled. And with that, we're going to go ahead and end the episode. So if you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to also hit that red subscribe button and follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss, same way it's spelled, on the YouTube channel username. And as always, have a great day and night. Stay positive, stay blessed, stay safe. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.